What use is a rifle without ammunition? And what use is ammunition in the hull of a sunken ship? A good general knows there is no strategy without logistics. For what use are 2,000 fit and well-trained soldiers if they're marching in the wrong direction? Over five years, millions of hours of gameplay have simulated every possible outcome of the Second World War. The tides have turned in all directions, and every capital in the world have seen a victory parade. But one thing remains consistent. Not one battle was ever won without the troops, the equipment, and the support being at the right place at the right time. On D-Day this year, we want to thank our players for five years of excellence. Looking ahead to future victories. What up? We are gonna react to Hoi 4 panel watches in four minutes. A little special bonus stream, I wanna call it here. Uh, I'm hoping it's interesting. I hope we get our information that's relevant. I hope something cool happens. Welcome to five years of Hearts of Iron. Because apparently it's it's been five years now, which is, sounds a bit crazy on it. Five day. years, actually crazy. So uh, I'm Dan, I'm the game director for Hearts of Iron. And um, uh, I have two guests with me. <laughs> this is like I'm in so, university. Uh, so the main design focus uh, for Hoi 4 was to focus on the strategic perspective Whoa, uh, with industry, nice. equipment and planning as like the main aspect. The main reason for that was honestly it was the parts I liked most out of Hoi 3. And then we wanted to have focus trees to sort of help guide people who um, didn't know how World War II was going to necessarily played out in detail, but also to help the AI sort of make choices in a historical manner without railroading stuff too There's much. There's no wipe yet. We still have to feel the wipe uh, here. They, they're still not wiping it here. Sort of this feels like where we just Hawks started the law school. For, for Hoi players who didn't like Hoi 3 so much. Uh, but did like Hoi 2 because there was a bunch of people that stuck told, I, I said that for years, you totally get it, man. to be one that worked for everybody, really. And, and that was very really clever. Let, let me talk a bit. It's a bit monotone. Um, the Hurts of Iron 3, anyone who ever played it, it was so bad. It was so, it was legit only for the most uh, hardcore nerds, man. There was no love in it, no pictures. It was really awkward. Yeah, but we loved Hoi 4. I was grown up with uh, Hurts of Iron 2. Hurts of Iron 2. People will play Counter Strike 1.6, Unreal Tournament. Me and my boys, we played Hurts of Iron 2, man. And Hurts of Iron 3 was a big disaster for Hurts of Iron 2 players, in my opinion. Thank you, Vasers, my dude. Feels like online class. Is this well, an online, cl online class is for you guys? Yeah, I don't know how that is. Hearts of Iron 3 was the alpha male game? You're an idiot. I'm gonna make a sub goal soon for Hearts of Iron 3 stream, and I'm gonna show you how unbelievably uh, bad Hearts of Iron 3 is, man. You're gonna be looking for uh, all the post-launch stuff here. <laughs> he so, sounds like uh, a, a, like an economics professor. Yeah, it sounds like we at university. The, the, the wipe is a bit missing, yeah. Um, I remember Dragon Victory was pretty... When I remember you got the, the minor uh, focus trees. To be that honest, I'm such a boomer, I, I, I don't uh, remember... So, uh, 2016 so much right was, 2016 uh, it's so I, I, holy I got, like, shit man how, how far away I, that is Motor can I top right I put your name below right so it now. looks like you're part of the panel but, yeah I think it's for tanks basically but personally I kind of micro those so uh yeah, I was gonna say that too. I'm sometimes throw them up for tank base. I agree with you boys. Like one of the... So the next one was Death for Dishonor, which was a uh, a bit smaller. Um, what we had. Feeling at the time I don't even remember this stuff, man. A new focus tree, uh, Romania. The Balkan got a focus tree. Uh, oh, that's so long ago. Minor mechanics, equipment conversion. Okay, yeah, and production licenses. There was no production licenses before that. I did. I don't. I can't even comment on this because I forgot everything. I forgot everything, man. Gabriel hasn't blinked in forever. Let's let's watch him. Let's see if he blinks. Let's see if he blinks. Reworking AI fronts as well as reworking the air system as well. Actually, I have to remind myself what the air dude, system that dude is not blinking. Because it was, uh... It was incredible. What are you talking about? <laughs> you have to, like, move every single thing and you could Holy like, shit! Yeah, what is going on? Interesting. He did? I didn't see it. And Thank you, Houseman. No he did. Checking like, I would like to give you guys a like, oh. little commenting. Oh, when this DLC came out, the multiplayer meta changed. Uh, I, I forgot everything, though. So I have no idea anymore. To me, the air game Lewandowski was just broke the record. Like, Holy uh, shit, did he? But let's talk about important stuff. Robert Lewandowski just beat the all-time record of goals in the German League. 
Man, I don't remember anything. I like the Romanian Focus 3. I like the Romanian Focus 3. It's like Czechoslovakia, nobody plays it, right? In multiplayer. Yugoslavia, nobody plays it. Hungary has a cool Focus 3. Yeah, in single player, Austria, Hungary, sure. But Romania is nice. I like Romania. You have different paths, which I always said. A, a good Focus 3 in Hoi 4 is... Yes, guys, you agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good Focus 3 gives you choice. Oh, do I want to do infantry Romania? Do I want to be tank Romania? Do I want to go with two sifts or two milts? Uh, and I like that. It's a good Focus 3. The problem is I'm like so used to focus modded focus, focus trees that I don't know vanilla, so what's the best focus tree in vanilla? Well, Hungary UK is pretty sick. Branch, probably the Netherlands is also with insane, yeah. The most important yeah. One. But yeah, UK is yeah. really, really I good, man. The way Dan Lind approaches Hoi 4 and what to do with it is statistics. You can see that all the time when you listen to Dan Lind. He sees statistics. What nation gets played the most? What focuses get taken a lot? He always sees these statistics, which then makes him decide certain things, right? Um, for example, oh, a lot of people play Turkey. Let's make a Turkey DLC. I sometimes think that is that can be wrong in a bias. If your numbers show there isn't a lot of Italy players, maybe that's not because Italy is not played so much. Maybe it's because the focus tree is so bad. So sometimes these statistics can be used wrong, I would guess. Waking the Tiger was sick, man, because I was the big Japan guy, right? I am the big Japan guy. Uh, first full sized big dlc new focus tree for all of china reworks to japan chain of command command ability is very cool that was kind of like the rpg dlc i remember that one i remember that that was pretty cool decisions and missions stability and war support but this was a very good dlc man the the rpg elements to the commanders was sick well, exploitable but very sick Germany i really enjoyed game, that uh, because we i think till this day the worst dlc is is uh, to is the the navy one uh, what's that called Dude, i'm the hoi four guy i don't know anything <laughs> uh the way man the guns man the guns because it broke navy in my opinion and navy is till this day nobody understands navy and submarine freeze kill everything naval bombers kill everything I you. which nations do you think deserve a yeah. dlc or update uh, i would have totally done the dlc they do now I, I said it for years now i said it for a long long time that we need a tank dlc and packing in packing it around barbarossa is very clever uh tank designs um let's say what about what will i do next something with italy finland it fi scandinavia the scandinavia and it's about resources and air and and as a side note, it has an Italy focus tree. Yeah, something like that. And updated peace conference is beautiful, man. You guys know what you're talking about. Thank you, DJ. If you say air design, they already made an air DLC, right? Yeah, I mean you can see still. But yeah, you're right. Yeah, the, the way the way you're gonna build tanks now, the way you're building a navy with all the parts. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so here's my suggestion. The Battle of the North DLC. All Scandinavian countries get a focus tree, and we have a full air we work. And a piece deal will work. And as a side note, the patch itself makes a new Italy focus tree. Bam! That's what I you would know, do. You balance the tree and stuff. You call and it like, uh, yeah. the red beard we're, we're rising. We're still working on shit. it. You know, not a country, so all countries, how we ended, like Swiss Austria. How we ended up with um, Flunzen, Flunzen, you're very intelligent today. I like what you're saying because when Dan Lind makes a DLC, he makes it about a region, right? It's not oh Sweden and Italy and Brazil. He doesn't do that. The Alpine DLC. Yes, you make Italy. Yes, you do that. But what do you do too? Switzerland, Austria, maybe Venice, maybe Albania has a little meme. So, that is very clever. Then we have Man the guns. guns. This is not long ago. Mexico so, and Netherlands got focus tree. USA and Britain got remade. Well. Britain and so, USA have I good focus trees, man. They're not bad. Thailand DLC. I feel like here is the one where we sort of. That's dumb. You have to always, on. as the developer, as the maker of this game, Dan Lind has to think what sells. If I make a DLC for Thailand and Nepal, nobody's gonna fucking play these uh, nations. You know, you gotta be clever about that. Yeah, fuel. I don't even remember how it looked like before fuel. I have complete Alzheimer's. Uh, we reworked Naval Combat 2.0. The ship designer is cool. But I think it Britain. only really shows itself in Partially, single player. Yeah, yeah. What I think was cool with this one was that we did uh, scripted interface stuff for the first time quite visibly. But scripted interface stuff? They changed, ah, they changed the interface. Yeah, I had to check. I, oh, they I, mean like something uh, like uh, Congress. To ah. to talking to fans around Waking the Tiger and go like, I don't think fuel is important enough. And I go in my head like it's tied to both so much especially Clever for though, japan yeah. <laughs> um yeah but the, the number one thing right now hoi4 needs in my opinion in my humble opinion is italy focus tree and peace conferences these two things are the number the, one the naval system. if hertz of iron 4 wants to completely shit on everybody's doorstep and make a big 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 stance you bring back doomsday 
All you kids don't know. Herctifying 2 was a game. Herctifying 2, Riot, World War 2, blah, blah, blah. One day, they announced an add-on. Back in the day, you had a thing called add-ons. No DLCs, an add-on, which was called Doomsday. Doomsday was a brand new redesign of the game where the game starts in 1945 where germany has just capitulated east and west germany are made and now the allies and the the russians have to fight each other politically with a focus tree and nukes are involved and shit uh, uh i i think that's that's like the one ace hurt of iron world in a dream world still have up its sleeve and i think we're never going to see it i think it's not going to happen um because there's too much work involved uh I, I guess but imagine that man imagine that cold, cold Cold War, Hotsfran 4 in a way, yeah. But imagine a big DLC, like a big one. It could even be 40 euros. A complete rework and it's World War 1. Hearts of Iron starts right before World War 1, man. It's a bit boring, right? Because the equipment is a bit lower tier, but bro, it would make so much money. I, I, I guess, but it's not a lot of work. Simulation, I think. A Cold War, yeah, World stuff, War 1 uh, DLC for uh, right. Hearts of Iron. So, uh, next up, we got Loris' stance. One of the worst achievements ever, Portugal, man. Unbelievable. Espionage. One core aspect, pretty heavily. And... At least I remember this a bit. Uh, I just want to be honest, right? Uh, how do you guys feel? Because I feel like espionage is... It's either underrated or it's useless. I feel like I can play every single game and I don't have to do a single spy. If I don't want to. Like once every two years to steal one of my blueprints. Oh, you, oh, you stole heavy tank once. Good job, man. It seems very... It, you think it's underrated? I just recently realized it's underrated because espionage multiplayer allows you to check your enemy more. What is he researching? What's his equipment look like? I don't know. I, I, I guess I never got warm with it. Oh, which also I don't know. Separate. And, and, and that's another layer of the game. Question that's for everyone good. watching this. Yeah. If you didn't pick Napoleon as first path... When you played France, you were lying. That was actually fun. I remember yeah, when you played Napoleon. Was that was actually a very good achievement. That was really cool. Doctor. Spies should have modifiers. Yeah. Uh, very good idea by Sharif. Uh, someone has a significant spy bonus over someone else. Let's say I'm Russia and you're Germany. I go hardcore intelligence. You do zero. I infest you with spies. I have a hundred um, intelligence about you. When that happens, you get a debuff infested by soviet spies and nothing big not 10 percent, but minus five percent construction speed minus five percent factory output minus five percent dockyard output minus 0 0.05 pp then players will be far more intrigued uh, about oh, oh yeah i should actually do something here man like spy that. prevents entrenchment bulgaria was less Does popular it? but became uh, well, but Bulgaria is bugged, Dan like, Lind. Dan, I love you. I love you, bro. But Bulgaria uh, is bugged till this day. If you don't take care of the... What is that thing called? You have 100% attrition in your own country with the rest of the game. It's bugged, Dan. It was a good thing. See, Battle for Boss, because I, I liked it. I liked it, man. Got freelance help. Most of the team was working on the other expansion section. I did it. Did he just say freelancers took care of this DLC while... Because they worked on something else? Actually, had to tell people that there were too many cats. Now there's only two cats. I think there was like four or five at one point. <laughs> yeah, I think it was well, one more. I wonder who makes the pictures. Uh, like one maybe question. One on both as well. Like today is Q and A. I, I, they might not respond to me because I'm Tommy K. Don't talk to him. I would actually legit want to ask these guys who makes these pictures. Want I want to ask that, cats. but uh, probably they will never answer me. All right, takes us into the present. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Um, <clears throat> bum, bum. Um, bum. But first. And we're going to talk about the new expansion soon, which means talking about uh, some community updates. So I know you guys. They actually love is a cold warm up. Actually, play that. I've never played that uh, yet. Road to 56 up. They usually are. Road to 56 going strong. Kaiser yeah, Road to 56 is so 6%. good, man. New order is sort of new, new order is here sick, is, man. Uh, new order is actually order, fucking good. Can't talk shit uh, there. But the UI killed it for me. Old World Blues never played it. It's like Fallout. Yeah, like the Great War, I played that for what YouTube video, right? Very broken, very easy to beat. Like, no, they, they only Iron released in the, but I think yeah, they Good, we have to play this chat. The game released. The work that goes into this is insane. The, the teams are gigantic for some of them, right? There's That's so actually true, man. There's out. a lot of work in this shit. And uh, then we got Old World Blues. Uh, I think they're up actually from. Uh, Where's the Lord of Rings mod? This is year, a disaster. In my head. Actually, start seeing more and more people asking about World War One content as well. And then we have uh, Iron Curtain, which people I people asking about World War One content. <laughs> Our game works great for World War One. These long drawn out battle plans just killing millions upon millions upon millions. Dude, I just talked about this. Make we a World War One World War Iron add-on. More, more uh, graphs. So this is showing uh, 
active monthly users. 900,000 not, peak. Not a lot of games have something like this. Not even MMOs, I would say. The peak this year was uh, 899. Uh, That's actually sick, man. It's actually first growing, first chat. That is fucking Come on, insane. We need more players. One, one more DLC and we got it. You mean one more Tommy K stream, <laughs> yep. yeah? I'll, I'll die happy when that happens. And then it'll That's be much really harder sick. to say that we're not mainstream anymore, but... I don't think it can be mainstream with a game like Hoy, then there's something wrong with the world. I mean, we, we got the New York Times said that it's, it's a good game to play during lockdown, and I think that's pretty mi mainstream. <laughs> One more that's, international. That is true. It's, true. it's, it's actually crazy how it's going up. That's, the this US is the Turks here. This is 100% the Turks DLC. Uh, pretty sick. Here's dude. another fun trend, actually. Oh, which that's. Is, uh, people Tommy K streams, bro. <laughs> Tommy, why don't you play majors? Tommy. And you can see in the because beginning. Because I'm the meta. I make the meta. And the meta is to play minors. And it started shifting over time and they start shrinking more and more towards 50 percent look at that chat he played the miners i, I like the battle for bosphorus here because it was a fun fun spike yeah, where, where, like, everybody played Steam, yeah. the new countries i for always wonder and i always say that and see, i mean this i really don't want to be arrogant here i legit wonder when you see these statistics how it's going up how much influence to influence have to, to that i wish god could tell me that how much influence does me boku and alex and stuff how much did we work with that because i'm an arrogant cunt i think i have a little bit of i think Say that Bulgaria, i brought some I people into this game when I'm you look at chat right? and i ask to, who bought like for because of me it's so like, many people man example, so many people i never fucking realized it's insane bro function. because of content creators now it's time for thank you for the sub and rojo so we had a mission statement for No Step Back, which was uh, focus on the Soviets, the Eastern Front, and no, refreshing land. Yeah. 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 Yeah.